Even though I'm not a big Trump fan, uh, Trump is right as far as the, the system being rigged. This is a, a, a clip from the Lawrence O'Donnell uh, show, The Last Word, um, and it particularly points out how Donald Trump has won the uh, various uh, primaries throughout the states uh, with the popular vote, but how uh, the delegates are basically being stolen from him uh, by Ted Cruz and the Republican uh, Party. He, um, his, the delegates that he basically wants uh, seated are, are not being seated. And uh, an even bigger problem is the uh, Republican Party is sending their hand-picked delegates uh, to uh, the uh, session for the uh, generation of the rules to be made up. And they're all basically Ted Cruz uh, delegates. So obviously the rules are going to be uh, set up to favor Ted Cruz. Now, uh, Paul Ryan has jumped in there and stated that he does not want any new rules created until the convention actually starts. So um, I guess he's trying to moderate the, the uh, Cruz delegates' uh, strength as far as uh, setting the rules is concerned, but I don't think it's going to help. And uh, Donald Trump is probably going to raise holy hell uh, once all those rules are set up and he gets screwed. But the point that I want to make is if I win um, a primary and I win a certain number of delegates, I want to be able to pick my delegates. And he is being denied this. So just because he won, the state picks uh, Cruz undercover delegates that supposedly support them and by, I guess, uh, rule on the first ballot, uh, they have to uh, vote for him. He damn near has to, he, he has to get 1,237 uh, votes. Otherwise, there is no way that the GOP is going to let this guy win. It's all over. There is nothing left for the candidates to do before the polls in New York open just hours from now at 6 a.m. According to the polls, the front runners in both parties, both New Yorkers, We'll have good night tomorrow night, but the problem for the Trump campaign is that Donald Trump is better at winning voters than he is at winning delegates, and winning delegates is how you win the Republican presidential nomination. It was another great weekend for the Stop Trump movement and for Ted Cruz on the delegate side of the campaign. On Saturday, Wyoming completed its delegate selection process, and it was a huge win for Ted Cruz, huge loss for Donald Trump. The Wyoming delegation will go to the Republican convention with 23 delegates pledged to Ted Cruz, one pledged to Donald Trump, one pledged to Marco Rubio, one who is uncommitted but allowed to pledge support to any candidate, and three who are uncommitted and not allowed to pledge support to any candidate. Also on Saturday, Ted Cruz was a big delegate winner in Georgia, even though Donald Trump won the Georgia primary on March 1st. In the primary, Donald Trump won 39% of the vote. Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio tied at 24%. But on Saturday, Ted Cruz supporters won 32 Georgia delegate slots to Donald Trump supporters who won 12. Georgia will choose another 31 delegates at its state convention in June. Here's how Donald Trump reacted to his weekend of losses in the delegate battle. We have a system that's absolutely rigged. It's rigged. We have a rigged system. And he's 100% right. How the hell do you win a primary by 12 points over your competitors, but you end up with a third of the delegates that uh, your uh, competitors uh, receive? That is bullshit. That is the system being rigged. I don't give a shit what they say. I win a primary, I get the majority of the delegates. I lose a primary, I don't get the majority of the delegates. That's plain, simple English that everyday people can understand. And for them to create rules that allow people to come in there and steal, and I do mean steal delegates, it, the system is rigged. David Plouffe, who managed the brilliantly run campaign that won the White House for Barack Obama in 2008, said this 
about the delegate battle this weekend in a tweet. Trump hemorrhaging delegates all over the map. Epic political malpractice. Just epic. So who's right? Donald Trump or David Paul? Is the system rigged or is the Trump campaign guilty of epic political malpractice? Joining us now, two people involved in Saturday's delegate battle in Georgia, one winner, one loser. We're joined by Debbie Dooley, a Trump supporter who did not win her bid to become a delegate. She's also a co-founder of the National Tea Party. We're also joined by former Republican Congressman Bob Barr, a Ted Cruz supporter who won his bid to become a delegate. And now, <coughs> how does she lose a bid to be a delegate and this asshole uh, wins his bid. It was rigged. It, she is a big time Trump supporter. And again, I'm not a Trump supporter, but she is one of the main uh, uh, staples uh, in Georgia. Okay. And so is he. Somehow he wins his, but she being, I mean, a real mainstreamer down in Georgia uh, doesn't win hers. Come on, people. You know, everybody's smarter than that. Uh, Debbie Dooley, I'd like to start with you. You, okay. were, you were defeated in your attempt to become a delegate, and after that, in the in the place where you were meeting, uh, yes. some Trump supporters apparently walked out, and in walking out, they took the American flag that was there with them. And I just want to show the audience the video we have of this, which is kind of shaky video, so they can get an impression of it. We'll talk about it after we look at that. Okay. Uh, and, and it, it's hard to see exactly what was going on there. We're running the, the video now, uh, but the flag is kind of marched out. The Give us your story of what happened in your attempt to become a delegate and what provoked that walkout and taking the American flag, I assume, as a kind of symbolic protest of this is an un-American process. It absolutely was a protest, and it was that gentleman that, that was his American flag that he took with us. We got up to protest the disenfranchisement of all the... Georgians that voted for Donald Trump on March the 1st. There were zero, zero Trump supporters uh, that were elected as delegates at the 7th Congressional District. Uh, the 7th Republican Party Congressional District leadership supported me because they felt like the voters' wishes should be honored. The nominating committee supported me and the crew supporters systematically voted to exclude any Trump supporters be, from being elected as delegates. This happened in every district almost statewide. A systematic exclusion of Trump supporters and Ted Cruz himself and the Cruz campaign were behind this. Uh, Mr. Barr that was actually ele elected in the 11th district he is a Cruz supporter. He is not a Trump supporter. In the 11th district, uh, Mr. Cruz was not allocated delegates March the 1st. So this is a travesty. This is something that voters, the 502,000 Georgians that cast their vote for Mr. Trump on March the 1st should be appalled about and they should be up in arms and rightfully so. All right. Okay, she hit it on the head. How, it, you got a district where there are, Cruz was not allocated any delegates, but they elect delegates that uh, are basically Cruz supporters. You tell me if that bullshit is not fixed. Now, you're going to listen to this other guy come in here, and he's going to try to defend this shit. Let's go to Bob Barr, and, and I just want to clarify one point, and, and correct me if I'm wrong about this, yeah. uh, Congressman Barr. Uh, these delegates will all, on the first ballot, vote for Donald Trump. And you, Bob Barr, on the first ballot, are pledged to vote for Donald Trump. What we're talking about here, in terms of loyalties, and your loyalty to Ted Cruz, 
will only become relevant if there is a second ballot. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. And yeah, in so, my so just, to, just to pause are, over, uh, Bob, for sure. one more second. You are going to vote for Donald Trump on the first ballot. No, it, it isn't. A, it isn't a one-on-one -on -one vote where somebody uh, uh, casts a vote, Bob Barr or John Doe, for uh, Senator for Ted uh, Ted Cruz or for uh, Donald Trump. Uh, it's simply the numbers that at the time the Georgia delegation casts its vote on the first ballot, you know that number of delegates that were won and uh, by the uh, winning candidate will be cast for the winning candidate. Uh, so it isn't a you know, a one-on-one -on -one vote per person. Yeah, no, no, it's not a call of the roll where your name is called, but basically all of the delegates will, the, the Georgia delegation will rise and say, you know, all of our delegates go to Donald Trump. And then, well, if he doesn't, it, it, is that correct? It, it's not precisely correct, but uh, close enough for government. Work. All right, good, good enough for now. Okay. And then when we get to the second ballot, the fact that you're loyal to, to Ted Cruz, does that mean that on a second ballot, you will vote for Ted Cruz? Actually, un under Georgia law, uh, the candidate, uh, in this case, uh, Mr. Trump, uh, would, have, uh, would have the majority of the delegates through the second ballot, more than likely. It's, it's very complex okay. when okay. you get to the national convention. Uh, but after the second ballot uh, in Georgia, Yes, my intention would be, and uh, other delegates who uh, who support uh, Senator Cruz uh, will be supporting Senator Cruz very clearly. Let me go back to uh, Debbie Dooley uh, for a second. Debbie, um, observers are said, David Pluff and others who've been through this in presidential campaigns are saying this was malpractice on the part of the Trump campaign because the Trump campaign had months, just like the Cruz campaign had, to assemble the people, like Bob Barr and others, who would go into these rooms for Donald Trump, and like you, Debbie Dooley, have, a, have legitimate standing in those rooms over this weekend, have the right to vote, and the Trump campaign did not get enough people involved in this, in Georgia, in order to win those slots. Well, let me interject there. Number one, uh, delegates, Mr. Barr is incorrect, the delegates are only bound for one round. I spoke to Republican National Committee man Randy Evans uh, Friday night. He said delegates are only bound for one round. What's important is that the delegates will also vote on the rules of the convention. So a Cruz supporter could vote for for rule changes that would negatively impact mm -hmm. Donald Trump. And yes, the Trump team was late to the game, but they were probably like me. They incorrectly assume that a candidate that is running as a constitutional conservative would not try to undermine one of the rights given under the Constitution, and that's a right to vote. This was a public election. It was paid for by Georgia tax dollars, taxpayer money, and yet uh, again, at district conventions across the state, they systematically disenfranchise voters that voted for Donald Trump. It is a travesty. Yeah, Why that. bother yeah. having an election if you're going to let the elitist within the Republican Party overturn it? Let's let Bob Barr respond to that. Go ahead. It, it's hard to know where to start. I mean, it's just such uh, babbling nonsense. You see, and that's bullshit. She made a clear and concise argument, and this asshole, you know, is calling that babbling nonsense. The, the, this guy is just fucking spinning, and he doesn't even know the goddamn rules. The only thing the, that they know about him is he's a Trump supporter, and that's how he got a, elected as a delegate. The fact of the matter is that the election process for the Georgia Republican Party has not changed dramatically, significantly, in the nearly 40 years that I have been involved with it. Debbie's been involved with it for many years. Everybody has an opportunity to begin participating in, uh, in February with our local caucuses and last month with, with our uh, county conventions. It is an entirely open process. There's nothing new about it. There's nothing rigged about it. There's nothing that suppresses anything. 
The fact of the matter is, and Debbie uh, deliberately did not answer your question, Larry, uh, the fact of the matter is uh, Donald Trump and his organization focuses on one thing and one thing only, and that is uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, whereas Senator Cruz focuses not only on the issues, but also on reaching at the grassroots level, urging people, getting people, convincing them to come out in the democratic process, which the Republican Party is very much uh, a, a part of, uh, and vote for him. And that's what happened. And all of this other nonsense is just sour grapes. Debbie Dooley, a, a quick last word. We're out of time here for the same. Well, the only babbling I hear co is coming from former Congressman Barr. This is about disenfranchising voters. This is wrong. And he hit the nail on the head. He said it was a 40-year system. That is why it needs to be reformed. And this is something that is rigged towards political insiders. Okay, a quick, can I get a quick one-word answer from each of you coming out of this? Uh, will you support whoever comes out of the Republican nomination, the Republican convention with the nomination? Debbie Dooley did yes and no on that? Uh, yes. Uh, and Bob Barr? I'll take the fifth right now, Larry. Okay, so you might be in the Never Trump slot. No, he's not, might not be in the Never Trump slot. He is in the Never Trump slot, and he's a party insider that uh, got uh, put in as a delegate because he's a Never Trump guy. I'll take the fifth. Okay, we'll try to get you back, see if you want to be more open. Thank you, Thank you both very much. Really appreciate it.